pretty good. So, let's pretend. Oh, an imagination game. Let's pretend none of that happened, okay? <laughs> I I used my high coop waiter, and it was magical. My waiter's corkscrew was like a fairy godmother came in and dinged, and it was perfect. You're, just, you're just digging yourself a deeper hole by saying that. Has anybody ever told you to blow off? Many times by you specifically. Blow off. So here yeah. we go. Here's our aerator. How does that work? I almost got to blow off again. Well, if you <laughs> lose your arm in a bad accident, this is could be your new replacement arm. You put a coal in there. This is the aerator. So like I said, you pour the wine over this little umbrella, and then you have the screen in there, and that is going to like chop up the cells or whatever and just bring the flavor out. So we're going to go low and slow. Listen to that. So what's that do? It it aerates it. No kidding, but what's that do? So aerating. The molecules are getting beat around in there. When they're getting beat around through that, they open up. When they open up, it makes the flavor come out more. The flavor. So it's like a flavor booster. God, my arm is so white. This would taste, this is a Sauvignon, I think, right? Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh -oh. It tastes so good with a bunch of fruit in it. <laughs> so what about this thing? Could I just have my moment of being like, oh, can I have a napkin from over there? I made a little, I made a little mess. So now you're done drinking and you want to put your wine away. Most people who don't drink a lot, they don't buy wine anymore because it's just going to lose its flavor and it'd be a waste. So now with this, you can buy a full bottle of wine and you can use this to take all the air out. And when you open your wine next week, it's going to be like you just opened it fresh. So you, you put your... How are you gonna get that out? Very carefully. <laughs> so then, this is like a bike pump, but backwards. You put it on here, and you suck the air out. Did you hear that air coming out noise? So how does that spill out? It's sealed. I don't see them. But then how is it taking the air out of the thing? The same way a bike pump would put air in. This is like a little nipple. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and so when you're pushing on this, it's like opening up the nipple so that air can come in and out. So you just... I don't know how many times with the other one I have, you can feel when it gets tight. So I'm sure it's probably already done. It's just not one that has that tight feel. So we can now that's in there. Listen. Yeah, there's no sound. <laughs> so we'll seal it again. So this is the Barillo aerator. I'll put more information below because obviously I didn't read the directions enough. Or so, at all. Well, I wouldn't say I didn't read them at all. I think it, 
is any direction. Oh, wait. There it is. What does wine aerating do? How to use it? Take it on the road with you. I wish I could see you with that light. I have to give it to me and I can read it. Here. So sangria, um, you can just put in a pitcher some different fruit in with the wine. Put it in the fridge so that it soaks it up and it gets the flavors mingling. You could muddle it if you really wanted to, but letting them mingle. I actually have an infuser pitcher, so you can put the fruit in the infuser too. Could you keep reading and stop playing gypsy games over there? What the hell? <laughs> I was trying to talk, but you keep talking so much. It says to uh, do the pumper thing a couple times until you can feel it, uh, the pressure. Okay. So it's very good. Here's why I don't drink wine or liquor that much anymore. <laughs> it's making me hot. Didn't need the wine for that, baby. I, if you watched my other video, I have something wrong with my liver. So the sweating means it's having a hard time. So I don't usually drink very often because something's wrong. So again, this is the Barillo. Tastier and fresher for longer. Comes with the aerator, it comes with the pump, and four corks that you can use to suction out the air out of your wine. Now, I like that it comes in such a nice case. Hey, look how beautiful that is. Can you see that on there or no? No, because the the camera lines up with the light oh, that's causing the shadow. Oh, chisel me, nizzle. I wish you could see it. This glass is making a shadow on the box. It is extremely beautiful. I'm going to go get my camera and take a picture. Come on, open my camera. Shut up before I beat you. <laughs> It is so beautiful. It reminds me of the painting I did of, for, of Kenny's dad in the urn. Now you know? that you say that, I know what you, I, I, that sounds right. Yes, it is so beautiful. I'll take a picture and then post it with it. I'm going to have to turn the flash off. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. This is the shadow from this glass on the Barilla box. It is just beautiful. Ah, uh, it may not be beautiful to... <gasps> oh, now it's distorted. It was better the way it was. Let me... Well, now you can get some of the... The design of the glass too coming through but the first one like there you can see the leaves the first one was at such an angle that you couldn't even tell it was leaves it just looked like a weird fog I'm trying to see if I can get it to come back because my son moved it Sorry. attempting to get a better shot maybe I don't know either way that that is now not interesting. Anyway, that is the shadow, and I just think that is so beautiful. Uh, I have a shadow. I don't know where it is, but I did a shadowy type painting, and uh, I, it just reminded me. It was all in black like this too. Okay. Oh my god.
Is it working? Oh, I thought it locked up. So, I just want to say that no corks were really hurt badly during the making of this video. Just mutilated. Uh, there was no cork in the wine whatsoever, so I think that still qualifies me as doing a good job since there was no cork in there. Eh, it took 20 minutes out. It took me 20 minutes. I just want to say that I haven't used one of them uh, since uh, I lived in Atlanta and at Ruth Chris, I think, was the last time I used uh. something like that. So it's been over 10 years. And I've had a little bit of brain infectiony things that have happened, so um, I'm sorry that was brutal to watch. But no cork in the wine, so I'm okay with that. Uh. And uh, so you can rip me a new one if you feel the need to rip me a new one, but I don't care. In my opinion, I did okay. Do you understand me? Barillo understands. Do you? Do you? He doesn't. You know why? Because he's a troll. Look at the troll. The troll in his blankie. Oh wow. So we have the Barillo. And the Barillo. 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 I think I actually have a coffee thing from Barillo somewhere. That's familiar. Yes. Mmm. Okay. Turned the bottle upside down and the wine poured out, which told me that I did it wrong. And so what did I do wrong? Let me make sure it actually works now. Yes. What I did wrong was I was thinking that I had to and hold it and suck the air out. What you do is you pop that in and you put this on and it is an up and down motion. You don't have to. And then you can feel, you see that? It is got some serious suction. And now it's holding. So yeah, I'm sorry that that was such an epic fail. It's late. What's it, almost 3 o'clock in the morning? Just, just like minutes, minutes before. Yeah. So that it was a little bit of a fail, and I'm sorry. Barillo is an awesome company, and sometimes I tend to be really, really goofy, and the fact that I had so much trouble with my high coop waiter corkscrew, I, it just turned me into goofiness because I was failing, so it, to cover up my crazy fail, I just get silly. So, Barillo is an awesome company. Uh, do they have a wine as well, I think? I don't know. I have the Barillo uh, bartender shaker and the aerator and the suction seal system, but it seems like I was, when the camera was off, I was looking around to try to find what else I had Barillo. It seems like I have some other things. Hey, it's actually Barillo. Barillo? Yes. Oh, I said it wrong. I'm so sorry. Barilio. On their page, I see both of the things you have. I don't see anything else on that Amazon page. Just the uh, the shaker, th the shaker thing you did with Buddy, and that uh -huh. thing you're doing right now. So, it's possibility. It's a possibility that the Barillo is actually something else that another company that is on my mind. Because I, I keep thinking I have something Barilio. Barilio. And now how do you say it? Barilio. So it is Barilio, and what was I saying before? Barillo. Barillo. You were missing out an I that was between the last L and the O. So, some people put this in the fridge. Some people just keep it at room temperature. I'm going to keep it at room temperature. But... I really like sangria, and I have sangria mix, so I can only make a little bit at a time because nobody else in here drinks. He's only 16, and even if he did drink, he I would, tried some. And, and he wouldn't like it. It burned my face. So I'll make like serving size stuff because he's not going to be drinking it. <laughs>